Good morning. This is Dennis Coker, Texas A&M University AgriLife Extension agent. I, I work in Dallam, Hartley, Moore, and Sherman counties. And I'm happy to be visiting with you this morning out here. We're east of Dumas, about uh, six miles, five miles, and uh, Moore County. One of the things I want to point out at this site, uh, it is a, it's a rain fed, uh, no irrigation here, a dry land site. And uh, we've got uh, varieties out here that we feel like match, uh, best match the dry land situation in this field. And uh, it's a strip, this is a strip till field. We're on uh, 30 inch row spacing out here. And uh, our crop rotation, going back to last year, there was a uh, wheat growing here, uh, broadcast wheat, and it was uh, harvested in June. You can probably see the residue out here between the rows, still quite a bit of residue, which is uh, really a benefit for, for soil moisture interception, holding down erosion and, and holding soil moisture and shading, giving a little bit more shade to the ground. Uh, there's some volunteer wheat that's come up out here, just scattered, uh, but that's, that's maturing now and uh, uh, may offer a little additional uh, wind protection uh, as we get through June in this early stage of the cotton growth. This is maturing, you know, from a water use standpoint. I don't, I don't foresee that it's, uh, it's an issue at all, uh, given the stage it's at with the maturity and uh, cotton coming on. Um, our planting date out here was May 24th, so we're just past uh, Monday this past Monday was three weeks, marked three weeks. Where our seeding rate out here was 40,000 seed per acre, is what was planted. And uh, so far, you know, when you look, if you look at plant stands, and uh, hopefully you see, you'll see some of that, uh, we're, we're off to a really good start. I'm, I'm very pleased. Uh, our, our moisture, we had, in fact, we were delayed planting here in May. Uh, we're going to plant before uh, a couple weeks before that, but uh, just delayed several times because of the rain in May, which turned out to be uh, really beneficial because we uh, it helped to build good moisture in the soil profile, and uh, and then it was uh, also it was a little warmer. We had uh, soil temperatures of about 62 degrees Fahrenheit uh, by the time we did plant it was planted. So. Uh, Really got off to a good start with emergence, a really good stand out here, and uh, good moisture at this point. In fact, we just had another inch of rain. So at this point in time, we're, uh, we are, uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but we are uh, right at uh, second, second true leaf stage uh, on most of these plants. Uh, if you get to looking, uh, we've got two true leaves. On, on each one of them. There's a few that's got three, but uh, for the most part, uh, two, two true leaves with uh, more coming on and, and uh, as the terminals develop. Uh, here's one that's putting on that third, that third leaf there. And uh, so we'll soon be, uh, with the heat unit accumulation we've got going on, we'll soon be at, uh, at three, three true leaves and, and continuing. On the fertility out here, uh, this strip, strip till situation, so phosphorus, the phosphorus, any needed phosphorus and potassium is put injected into the seed row before planting. And then at planting, uh, the grower put in uh, five gallons of 626 six. Uh, so, so a little bit of nitrogen, 6% and 26% on the phosphate source and 6% uh, on the potash. Uh, there at, at planting with a blend, uh, uh, a hefty blend of micronutrients uh, in there. And uh, insect pressure wise, we, uh, we've got a little bit of thrips pressure out here so far. We're monitoring that. Uh, I'm, I'm understanding that the growers likely going to put a spray application on for thrips uh, here in the next day or two. So we'll, we'll continue to monitor that. Uh, a lot of times you know, with a, just a light to moderate thrips pressure, uh, the cotton, the way this is growing now, it'll probably outgrow, those thrips will be, it'll outgrow that situation. Uh, the weed pressure is light out here, um, and uh, that's really good going uh, this, this point so far. Um, 
So that's really all I have for right now getting started. I look forward to visiting uh, the, next, the next go around. We'll talk some more about heat unit accumulation and where we are on the stage.